Do you think Magnus would have played the match if you would have gotten second place? Um, you know, I, I, I know a lot of people and it, and to be fair, I still have not listened to this podcast with Lex Fridman. So I, I don't know exactly what he said about it. I, I will say that I'm going to take him at his word that having said that he wouldn't play, he wouldn't have, but I do think in some way I'm also right because while he said something along those lines, he did say that he would, he said something like he would have, he wouldn't have enjoyed making that decision. Hmm. So you know, I I'm, I think I'm partially wrong, but I still am partially right that when Magnus says like he would have been unhappy, that to me tells me that that I w I was onto something there. So you would have been able to sway him, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Again, I think I think again, you you don't you'll we'll, we'll never know what would have happened because because that that's a hypothetical. But the fact that he said that he would he would not have liked making that decision tells me um, that in, in some way I, I'm right. Like I might be wrong, but I think I'm still right because he would not have he would not would not have been happy. So I feel well, like he would have he would have definitely played a match if you had won or if Ali Reza had won. Like this is because mm -hmm. would he would right. just find it very fun. Right. Uh, but do you think like his approach in how he expressed his he expressed his feelings before the tournament and didn't make them 100% clear rather than just saying after the tournament without giving any indication before not to interfere with people's thoughts. Do you think that would have been a better approach of, of doing it? I mean, I think it really depends whether you believe Magnus or not in terms of whether he had made a decision before the event or whether he made the decision because of who won the event. And to me, based on the comments that he made, it seemed I find it hard to believe that he had made this decision before the event. I just I find it hard. Now, again, I haven't listened to exactly what he said on that podcast with uh, Lex Fridman, but my understanding is that he said something like the decision had been made well in advance, and then he just formally formally made made the decision at the end. I don't actually believe that to be true because again, I think if I had won or Ali Reza had won, he would have played. And if I use that assumption about Magnus, I think it was a it was um, uh, if 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 I Take him at what he said, then I think it's a mistake. If I think that it was a fluid situation and the decision he made was based on who won, I I kind of I think it's kind of okay. I don't I don't think it's great in that situation. But if he had made up his mind like he said he had six months before, I think he should have let everybody know. I think he should have let the world know. And by not letting the world know, it kind of it changed the whole dynamic of the tournament. Do you think he's going to come back if the system remains the same, if he has to go through the candidates? Do you think he's going to try to come back to the World Championship match? Um, at this point, I'm I'm fairly skeptical. I, I think it it really depends. Uh, the the notion of him playing the Canada's tournament to qualify I, somehow I don't really see him doing that again. I think the amount of work that you have to put in put in for something like that it's it's so massive that I I don't really see it. Even when he won, uh, was that 2013? I 2013, believe it was the one, yeah. the one in London. Like that was a very tough event. He barely won, and he did lose the final round as well. Of course. Kramnik lost uh, lost that final game too, but it was very tough, and it was not clear that he was going to make it through. And if he hadn't had a little bit of luck in that end game against Timor, where Timor misplayed it, if that's a draw, there's a good chance that he doesn't play a nod, and history is completely different. So I find it hard to believe that he's going to come back and play play in a World Championship match um, under 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 Fide, but. We'll see. We'll see. But I, I think it's, it's like, I would say 80-20. It's does. hard to imagine it, yeah? Because anyway, he would be trying to qualify for the same situation that he opted out of. Right. I mean, he would be playing either, let's say, Jan or, or Ding Liren. Like, well, you could have done that anyway. <laughs> right. That's that's true. Yeah, like What's in two point? years. Yeah. Exactly. You're right. So I, I, I think it's, I, I would say 80-20 that it's not going to happen. I don't think he'll come back. What's the uh, best way to dispute the world championship? What's the best system, in your opinion? I think I think something that's only classical is the only way you can really do it. I mean, I, I understand Magnus's concerns. I mean, he feels like it's too long preparation. You're gonna have like twelve draws, like a previous match, of course. Um, at the same time, having a world champion championship decided in, in rapid or blitz just doesn't feel right to me. I mean, like when I look back at your match against him, uh, or or even Karyakin's match for that matter, like they were they were tied after regulation. If you have a match that's tied after regulation, it to me, I think it should just keep going with like sudden death, um, something like that. Like next 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 game that's won, that's it. Um, that's probably what I would do. I, this idea of mixing rapid and blitz with classical, I don't really like because also to Fide's credit, they do have a world rapid and a world blitz championship. So if you already have those, I don't really see the need to mix the format. So probably something like, maybe it's something shorter, like 10 games, for example, and sudden death, something like that. But I mean, mixing the formats, I, I don't really understand the logic behind that. I do like the sudden death idea. I, I hadn't thought of it. Like it does... It could lead to these endless matches. Okay, we saw like the most infamous endless match, right? Uh, right. Gary, Gary and Karpov playing for like three months straight. 
but that was up to six wins. If you just have it like after 10 games to the right. first win, it's very likely to be resolved relatively quickly. Right, each- or you could even you could even do like first of two wins, for example, because mm-hmm. you're going to get a lot of draws. Um, but first of two wins, something like that, or some something of that nature, um, I think is even possible. One, I think is ridiculous because you could just show up and lose the first game. But I think there are ways. There are, there are ways to keep it classical, and I I, just, I understand. I mean, the match has to end at some point. But to me, the the idea of like you drawing twelve games of classical, showing that you're completely equal, and then then I mean, basically losing the match because of one one wrong king move in that first working yeah. pawn end game is just I find that a little bit absurd. What about the qualification process to uh, the World Championship match? The candidates or just the champion chooses whoever he wants to play against, like in boxing? Yeah, I mean, I think the candidates is a good... I mean, the candidates, I like it, but again, it's one event. I feel like... I I don't feel like the best player always wins. In fact, I think most of the time, the best player doesn't win. Uh, It's just who has the best nerves. Um, So... I want to say that I feel like something along the lines of like two tournaments or maybe three tournaments, something like similar to like the Grand Chester, but having that be like a candidate makes more sense to me than it just being one event. I feel like one event doesn't, I mean, as we've seen, doesn't really determine who the best player is. And I feel like nerves and all these other extraneous factors, they, they come into play in a way that you, you don't have uh, if you have two or three events. I think it's just completely different. So probably something like that uh, to me would, would be better. Something like the Grand Chester, but like Grand Chester candidates.